Yeah, I talked to uh, some friends who work in businesses around downtown Sarasota and then down in Golfgate, and they went out and bought candles yeah. and yeah. burned them because the even though they're inside an air conditioning, that smell was oh, penetrating. Yeah. Was right Even in my car while I'm driving, I can, yeah. I can get a, a, a little whiff yeah. of it. Uh, the news is, is that that west wind is going to change a little bit, so it'll be somewhat better. It won't get as far inland. And, uh, you know, when they have fires out in Mayaka City and we have an east wind, we can smell right. that smoke yeah. all the way here, so it makes sense, you know. Uh, the wind pattern will determine what you smell. The same goes true with the Tropicana, you know, when it's coming from the and east, the get that <laughs> nice orange smell. We're looking forward to that. Um, not looking forward to this, though. This is an interesting photo. I saw this a couple days ago, actually a day ago. This is 12 miles out into the Gulf of Mexico. Those are threadfin. That's bait fish. Those are uh, typically around four to six inches in length. And uh, you can see it's covered in the Gulf of Mexico. We haven't had a lot of photos out there. And that's not a good sign. Red tide does develop offshore. This one from a commercial fisherman that was sent in. So uh, kind of a... Kind of a nasty looking photo that is, but this is, let's change uh, directions here. This is a beautiful shot from Christian Stokes at Minnesota Beach uh, of a lone shower out there today. And this one from Cindy Desmond, uh, no one's there. It's uh, again, the Venice Jetty. She said uh, the smell wasn't bad because they clean the fish up off the beaches every day with a nice big tractor, right? And in most cases, and, uh, but she said that there was still hints of red tide and that means the sneezing, the uh, you know, the throat acting up a little bit as well as the eyes watering there. Van Weasel webcam showing uh, pretty uh, sunny skies out there today. Lots of sunshine as a result of high pressure, although we did start off with some pretty big storms around uh, this morning in northwest uh, Manatee County. Well, that frontal boundary is just about done. It's uh, just about weak into nothing, and we're going to see high pressure build back into the north of us, which will start to bring us that east to southeasterly wind flow throughout most of the morning and early afternoon with that sea breeze developing uh, late in the day and not getting that far inland, but uh, Today you can see these showers moving off to the east, indicating that that west wind has uh, really developed. Although we do have an outflow boundary right there, it's being hung up just to the east of I-75. No rain around right now. A forecast model suggesting maybe one or two lone showers still with some outflow boundaries later on this evening. Rain chance very small, a little higher tomorrow afternoon though. Uh, still a chance for a coastal showers. Things start to transition tomorrow into more of a southeasterly wind. You see these storms coming up and then colliding with that breeze, and then we'll see those storms moving off to the west. I think a better chance of seeing more sustained southeast winds on Saturday, which will allow a little bit more activity too. So we're going to get back into those thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening. It'll contain a lot more lightning than we've seen. And the rainfall will be heavy at times, although we have some dry air around. That dry air is going to be replaced and it'll start to moisten up a little bit more so uh, throughout the day on Friday. Well, here it is. Uh, the waves really picking up. Uh, this is a look at the uh, lane and get a look. There's a buoy right by uh, there. This was at uh, noon today, our time. Uh, winds up to uh, 98 miles an hour by 2 o'clock and by 2.30 up to 107. It goes right over the top of the buoy, right over the uh, center, and there it is in the eye of the hurricane, Category 4. So pretty amazing that uh, usually you don't see that happen uh, when a storm goes directly overhead. There it is, the satellite imagery showing the storm system still well organized. It still has winds up to 130 mile an hour, and it looks like it's going to stay as far as the main core, the heavy winds offshore of the islands, but they will see some very heavy rainfall and waves up to 20 to 25 feet high. For boaters tomorrow, waves not nearly as high. Seas running less than 2 feet to uh, we're going around 2 feet in the afternoon. A light shop in the bays and inland waters and the extended forecast calling for a good chance for scattered storms each and every day right through the next seven days. The weekend we're calling for uh, late day storms both on Saturday and Sunday, some of which could be rather strong. Back to you.